Hey, what's up guys? It's a heavy gamer with you and first of all, I'm really sorry that I end uh, the previous video like that uh, but I had a reason and a very very special reason guys so to to start with something like great I just got the uh, Acer Predator X 30, uh, 34 an amazing amazing uh, monitor from Acer guys it's so freaking amazing so it's 34 inches and G-Sync and IPS uh, Dolby Digital wherever like uh, it's a freaking awesome monitor guys I just got it from uh, eBay uh, and I have to admit that it's freaking unbelievable so that was almost almost the last piece that I was looking for in order to make my new uh, tour uh, gaming uh, like gaming setup tour and I'm gonna do it very very soon <clears throat> so keep checking my videos guys and definitely you're gonna see it like uh, during next week so the thing is uh, compared to the BenQ X uh, 20Z uh, it's like that the BenQ was 27 inches and like G-Sync, 3D Ready, things like that uh, 144 uh, Hertz or refresh rate it was really really good a very good monitor but compared to this one guys the IPS monitor the, the screen it, it makes it, the game like so much different I can't, I can't like express the feeling but because you see it from YouTube so it's totally different the quality over YouTube it's a process it's you know the whole thing so it will it's freaking awesome guys I'm gonna do like a, a really uh, I'm gonna do the game setup tour and you guys gonna see it like live so even I see the whole details guys the whole details so it's curved it's pretty cool uh, so yeah okay enough for that <laughs> let's continue with Dal and we have a conversation with him well what do you think I could get used to this we take turns living here you can see why I love Pretty much everything about it. <laughs> I love the air, the breeze. And one day we'll have more places like this. I have faith. Okay. So we have, we have. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of things that I haven't found yet. So I haven't. The cat have turned more aggressive. I haven't been here. Now they're slaughtering outposts. I could join in down there. I could use a workout. Let's go over this again, everyone. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. Got any tips on navigating an alien society? Be yourself, but your best self. Listen and be polite about scanning your food. Though that's good advice in general.
Kefra's letting me record a few of these training sessions. Just a few. But the Angara have some smart tactics. Now I get how they've held out against the jet. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. <laughs> Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. Fuck off, you bitch. The fuck is that? Man looks so sick. And I have so so many stuff. So many stuff. Inferno 2 I reckon I'm gonna stick with my stuff so far Fuck that, I don't want to lose any more time Sam, what's this? You decontamination console For visitors to the med center Touch the start pad to use it Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angar and injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishari. This is chaotic, man. Chaotic. Fucking hell. Learned you were coming. I prepared a date pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them.
What? Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. <laughs> Five thousand nine hundred and eighty three. Fuck off. Fuck, I'm so lost. So lost. What did you look like before you crossed dark space?
there's something here. And I don't think I've been here before. No. Baby. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Apsha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, brighter. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. <laughs> Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. Be sure you do. You're a handful. Even sober. You can handle me, Ryder. Whenever you want. <gasps> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. I've heard so much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on Eos? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. Are you a relic hunter like Avela? Actually, I started as an engineer. The most shy requested my help cracking encryption on a remnant ship she found. Eventually, that led me to the repository. I've been handling data encryption here ever since. I take it you help run this place. Nalan and I are Avela's assistants. It's been strange getting used to that. Why? Avela's much younger than the previous curator. She has a lot more energy. Sometimes I have to remind her to take a break. She's too passionate for her own good. I'll let you get back to it. Oh, it's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize. I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aelin and I help Avela with her studies. I specialize in restoration. So you make relics look new? Do as I can. I'm not a miracle worker, no matter what Avela says. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone who will listen. Never had a supervisor like that before. I'll leave you to it.
Oh, you're here. Welcome to my favorite place in the galaxy. Pavoa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. Pathfinder, I've been studying the helmet you found and it's got me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. I can't agree without knowing what you want from me. Of course, that's only fair. So, believe it or not, these things happen like uh, with Windows. So I got like a pop-up uh, window telling me that about the new settings for Windows Creator or something like that. Like, you know, something, some updates from Microsoft. And they fucking got me. They interrupt my game, fucking bastards. <laughs> Oh, that's a helmet we found. Space helmet. This is locked. So this is locked. So, ah, so we don't have anything else. All right, so. Shit, that was it. Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. So we should go like. We should go back. Ah, so there is something here. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting, guys. So... Ah, sorry. Take the sub. Okay. thinking maybe maybe mm, make it on the next video uh, because it's a priority one
that's for sure. I, uh... What? What? Okay. That's EOS. We still have things to do in fucking EOS. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, yeah. Okie dokie. So, guys, uh, I'm gonna do it in the next video. So, consider the, this and the last uh, video as a tour guide, let's say. Uh, of uh, the Angaran biggest city biggest city? biggest city yep yeah, so that was it and I really hope you you enjoyed it uh, so yeah it was a tour guide for Aya and we rescued Mosai we brought her back here with Efra the commander of the resistance and things like that so we're pretty good we're going well and guys stay tuned and let's see what is gonna happen next what on the next video so thank you very much for watching hope you're gonna have a lovely evening and i'm gonna see you in the next one guys see ya